What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. If you're new to the channel, I am your host, as always, Rasheed White. All right, let's get into it over here. You guys see the title. You see the thumbnail over there. Um, Magic Johnson takes a shot at Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, and he's really kind of, re you know, taking a stab at today's players. And it's a lot of these old guys here who wants to stay relevant, but I don't know why they really got to even take shots at today's players, man. And I know kind of Anthony Edwards kind of started this, but listen, he was asked a question, and he's just giving his opinion on it. He's giving feedback on it. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. So over here, it says Magic Johnson was a guest Thursday night on Jimmy Kimmel's Live, and the host asked... The former Los Angeles Lakers greats about remarks Minnesota. Uh, oh yeah, rem about I'm sorry. Remarks Minnesota Timberwolves star Anthony Edwards made recently regarding current NBA talent compared to the talent from Magic's era. They said it was tougher back then than it is now, but I don't think anybody had skill back then. Edwards told the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Michael Jordan was the only one that really had skill. You know what I mean? So. That's when they saw Kobe Bryant and they were like, oh my God, but now everybody has skill. And then uh, John, John, Magic Johnson actually responds saying, thanks a lot, Anthony. I think he should ask uh, somebody, maybe his father or his grandfather, about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Dr. J, Isaiah Thomas, Larry Bird, Kevin McHale, Clyde Drexler, all these guys, Dominique Wilkins. Uh, we had some of the most dominant players that ever played. Uh, also, too, you might want to talk trash when you when you won something. You know, this came from uh, some of the guys who won on the Celtics team. Okay, you might want to look uh, at it, but you haven't won anything. If I'm Anthony Edwards, I'm concerned about the Dallas Mavericks, about OKC, about Boston about all these great teams uh, concentrate because they got beat by the Mavericks. You know, what's the difference between the Mavericks team and the Minnesota Timberwolves team? Magic, I mean, Dallas Mavericks actually has more talent. Boston has more talent, okay? Who's the other team you're talking about? OKC. OKC just has more talent. I mean, you put Magic Johnson, I'm sorry, Anthony Edwards on the Boston Celtics and Take away, like, let's say Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown, vice versa, one of those guys. Ant-Man wins. This is, you know, basketball is a team sport. I'm getting tired of these guys, these guys acting like, oh, it's an individual thing. Magic Johnson had a stacked roster. <laughs> I mean, he had a stacked roster when he actually really, you know, when he won a lot of, you know, his five rings right there. Same thing with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was losing in the first round. He was getting beat, and he started putting more talent around him thus he actually you know, won championships and you know there was uh you know during michael jordan's like championship years it was like they were heavily favored i mean go look at the odds i mean i shouldn't i, I could probably look up the odds for you but you know you guys actually go out there and do your own research now today's nba i mean we have five different champions in the last five different years what does that actually mean? More talent, okay? And yes, today's players are more skilled. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar could not play in today's NBA, all right? He couldn't play. <laughs> um, he has to go out there on the perimeter and chase guys like Steph Curry around all day, trying to, you know, they'll try to switch a, a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar onto a Jabba Rant. Or it's uh, Anthony Edwards. You know, he would, wouldn't would be able to just stay down in the paint like that. You know, and, and, and guys are more skilled. I mean, shooting is a skill. The last time I checked, shooting is a skill. All right, you have more guys that can actually put up threes right now. You got role players. You got to look at, look at guys like Mikael Bridges, right? Mikael Bridges is a role player. I mean, you see the numbers he actually puts up. You know, 45, 45 points, 30-something points. Look at Aaron Gordon. Look at the numbers he actually puts up as a role player. Jaron Jackson Jr. is another another one who actually puts up puts up numbers, you know. And he's a role player. He's not a guy that run their offense through. You know, at times they could, but it's not, they're not the main guys on their team. These guys are putting up crazy numbers. 
the shooting, the fact that a lot of bigs today, like Jared Jackson Jr., Anthony Edwards, Bam Adebayo, can actually slide their feet. You know, they can actually contain, like they can hold a, a lot of these guards, you know, in three dribbles. You know, <laughs> the bigs back then couldn't do that. They couldn't do it. They couldn't slide their feet. And, and you know, it, listen, things. <laughs> Oh, Lord, man. I, I, I don't even know what to even say, man. <laughs> it's just, um, you know, even like he mentions Larry Bird. I, I mean, them and the and the Boston Celtics, the Lakers and Boston Celtics were like really the only teams that were actually winning championships back then. They dominated the NBA, those two teams. So, I mean... What about the rest of the team? If they, if everybody else had more skill, how come you only had like you know one, one or two championships back in one, two? I'm sorry, one or two champions back in the eighties. <laughs> oh boy, man, these guys, man. Uh, I mean, sports media today is actually gotten so dumbed down today, man. You know, a lot of you guys aren't going to believe me. You had some good players back then. Nobody's saying Clyde was trash. Nobody's saying that Isaiah was garbage. Nobody's saying it. Nobody's saying that. It's just that you have more players today who are even more skilled. I mean, just look at the league around you, man. Look at the West. <laughs> look at the West. You had teams like the Sacramento Kings that didn't even make the playing tournament. <laughs> And, and, you know, you have, like, Sabonis and, and De'Aaron Fox. And, like, these guys, you know, it's... I mean, the amount of... Sk like, like the, the amount of good players today is actually insane. And I don't want to hear, yo, oh, you can't touch anybody. You still actually have to go out there and play defense. You'll have guys that, that say, oh, well, they don't play any defense at all. Well, how come you have first team, second team, third team, or all defense teams right there? They play defense. What beats good defense? Good offense. You just have so many good offensive players, you know, and it's only going to get better and better and better and better. You know, you guys will see. I mean, you know, these guys are working on offense like six hours a day, seven hours a day, counter moves to every type of defense that you, I mean, you know, they can shoot threes and they can come off the of screens. They can play without the ball. They can play with the ball. They can elite, elite mid-range game, ball handling, man. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, you know, you got these, you know, it's crazy today, man. It is. I've been watching the NBA for a long time. Been playing the game for a long time. Um, So, I will wrap this video up. Definitely like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.